No, I just hate when I be recording and stuff and people would just be like looking at me and stuff like that. I really want my own biographer. That's what I want. He would be staring. I just hate when people look at me. I'm a, I'm a shy individual for it. I guess that's what, I guess that's how it is. But what's good with y'all? I'm about to go get some food right quick. My friend. How you doing, my friend? Yeah, my friend. Okay, yeah, that's my friend right there. He a good dude. He always give me ice cream, my cookies and cream. He cool? Tell me why that moon always be looking right, it's right there too. Like, it never move away. It's always in that one particular area. I think though, I think, no, I can't say that. The government gonna come after me. <laughs> no, the moon was literally right there the whole day. Like even during the sunlight, even when the, the sun was shining, the moon was right there, bro. Mm -hmm. I said, I was gonna say something. But I think the government gonna try to come and get me. They're not gonna try and get you because you ain't saying nothing out the wall. I ain't gonna say nothing just yet. No, nah, I'm gonna uh, go get some food and then I'm finna go to the basketball game. And then I want y'all to come to me to uh, watch the game and shit. Is there a way to like make a video, like record while the flash is on? Because if it is, how you do it? Because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. I forgot we was going home. Yeah, I'm eating right now. And it's, it's pasta night, so we finna eat good. You feel? This is a bus. I ain't gonna lie. This girl's fuck. Right now, I'm on my way to go get my clothes out the dryer, and we gonna we gonna SP to the basketball game. So I gotta go get my clothes, and we gonna go enjoy a great basketball game. <laughs> late for this basketball game i'm not gonna lie to y'all but hopefully we can still catch it at halftime so let me see y'all the basketball game i made it to the basketball game and they stay whooping they they whooping their butt oh yeah well, we made, made it to the basketball game, everything like that. So straight. But they, they, they going crazy. I don't know y'all. Oh, he's just dropping. Oh, and one of them. Not cook. <laughs> we out here freezing, waiting for this game to end. Yeah, we got them boys back. Hey, if y'all watch it at this point, I just want to say thank y'all for even watching me, bro. Oh, that's. Oh, I thought that was the end. Well, I just want to say thank y'all for watching me and stuff like that because y'all could be doing anything else right now. You know what I'm saying? Like anything else. So it's just like I appreciate you, love. Hey! Oh, damn. Hey. Oh, my God. Hey, give it up. We just came for the game. They completely was whooping their butts. Gotta go to sleep. I came from the gym, so it's time for me to go relax my body, go watch some Netflix, and go chill out because I'm out here working hard, man. I got family to feed, so I gotta grind. And I want y'all to know if y'all want something, bro, stop being lazy and get up off y'all butt and go get some money, bro. Because being broke is a joke. And 2023, we working on ourselves, pushing ourselves past our limitations. So I want y'all to go out and go get some money. If you watch my videos, bro, if you watch me, bro, I want you to get inspired from me. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all have a story. Yeah. All up to you how you want to write your story. So make sure you write something that people will want to read and enjoy it. You feel me? And if you keep asking, if you're going to ask me what happens to my job, my chin, don't ask no questions because, look, I do things and I hurt myself because I do that to myself on accident. So don't ask no questions that you don't want no answer to.
Cap it like the narco. narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope. Chop trees with the Draco. Draco. On the north got Diego. Diego. Say I'm still a wiggle. It was just, it just dawned in my head like we was cool, we was friends, and then everything had changed. Everything switched when they when when I had another uh, person that I was cool with come to my deployment, and they just started acting all weird. They said that was this is one person, mind you, that always said we was gonna be friends, we were always gonna be locked in type stuff, we was gonna always be homies and stuff like that. But then once things started going the wrong path, they stopped wanting to be my friend, and it's just like. People really do not care about being being for you. People do not care about being your homie. People don't care about taking care of you when it comes to out, come down to really taking care of you and stuff like that. And it's just two faced. It's really two faced. And people just be careful with who you call your homies and who you call your your friends and, and who you got in your corner and stuff because they really will snake you out. They would they would treat you all bad when you're not around. When you down bad on your last and you can go to prison for the rest of your life, they're not gonna be there for you. Not gonna stay to do to help you do the time through the times. Or give you no money for your commissary or whatever it is. People do not really have genuine intentions for being for you. So just make sure you be careful with who you call your homies and who you call your friends. For real. Because this person really threw me off. They were supposed to be my homie and everything like that. But they have my back. It is what it is. You know what you know. I'm on what you want. Alright, y'all. It's Saturday. I'm at work. And some of y'all might be asking, like, why are you at work? Are you not in the military? Should you not be in your uniform? And no, I'm not. So right now I'm just at work. We we come as we come as civilians because we work on Saturdays. So that's one of the things that you can have. So if you have civilians, you can come bring civilians. But right now we at work. We're just waiting for everybody to get here, and then we're gonna start doing work. I guess. I mean, it ain't really much we do on Saturdays. We just come here to look at each other for real, for real, for the most part, and then we go back home. But I cannot complain. I love life. Life is beautiful. I think this can be a moment to vent, just get what I'm thinking off my, my chest because I ain't gonna lie, I'm not sad or anything, like I said, I'm not depressed, but like I said, uh, for the most part, I feel more like I'm on a repeated cycle more, more than anything because of the fact that everything is the same thing, Everything every day is like the same day in a way, and one of the things that I learned from being deployed is when, when you're deployed, you cannot look at the days, you kind of have to just go under the radar with the days and just let the days come. That's what helped me when it comes to just going through the days on, on deployments. Because you're, especially in the Army, I don't know why we have the most personnel, but we're deployed for the longest time for the most for the most part. I guess because more of we stabilize longer than other branches, but we have the most personnel. So why are we deployed for the longest? You got the Air Force who have the one of the hardest uh, branches to get in. They have the least amount of personnel but they deploy for six months and then they rotate out. Why does the army not do that? But anyways, so when you're trapped here for nine months or 18 months or however long the army needs you to be in a location and you only see this and you're in a unit that does not push for NWR trips or trips to get you out and go see the world, just what I found helpful for me, especially when I feel like I'm in a cons consistent, a consistent cycle of every day, like this consistent just going to work and waking up and going to work and eating lunch and then going back to work and then going to sleep and then doing it all over again and not able to go out on a weekend or go out and go eat some new food or take a trip, a mini trip or vacation, things that people should be doing and exploring life. If I notice that I'm doing that, what do I do? So what I do is, again, I don't look at the calendar and then also I go to the gym and I try to get my mind off. Of, I try to do whatever it takes to get my mind off of noticing that I'm still deployed and that I cannot do the things that I would normally do in the U.S. So, again, reading a book can also help. People that I, I tend to, uh, to see like to stay in their room and, and not go out and explore and go and explore, explore the world. People do that in the U.S. anyway, just play the game all day. I don't understand how you could do that when it's a whole world to explore. But don't trap yourself in your room. It's going to only make the days go by slow, slower, I should say. 
So do not ever trap yourself in your room. That's gonna only make your anxiety go through the roof. It's gonna make your depression skyrocket. It's gonna make you wish that you never deployed in the first place. So just when you notice yourself going through these those times where you're on a recycled day, do whatever it takes. Make a YouTube channel, do something progressive that you're working towards something so that way you're not constantly thinking about your deployment. I just wanna say, for those of you guys who think deployment life is easy, it's not. It's, it's for no, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're a deployed 10 times or a person who deployed one time. No deployment is easy. It always, you you have your ups and downs. You have your times where you, you just wish you never came to this deployment. You have your days where it's like, I'm here and I'm trapped here and I cannot go anywhere and I cannot go visit my family. You're gonna have those days where it's like that. If you decide to join the military, understand, especially the army, because the army, again, you could be deployed for a wide range of months from nine to up to 18 months, maybe even further, they pushed it out. Just understand, everybody has those, those moments while they're deployed, where they have those moments, those sparks of, of times where they go into their darkest thoughts and wish they never came to this deployment or wish they had not have to do this. You you get better with it over time as you as you deploy more, yes. But everybody who deploy, who who does deploy, no matter if you're a sergeant major of the army, a general, or, or generals don't own think they really deploy. But from the people the highest ranking people that can deploy to the people that are lower enlisted, who are younger, who are people who are just recently joined the army in, in particular, everybody has bad days. You know people do not show it some people hide it better than others but everybody has those bad days and i want to let you know i don't care if you feel like people are gonna make fun of you people are gonna do it take speak to somebody if if you know the things that i said are not working for example being progressive doing things like you love like i love basketball so i went to a basketball game if those things are not working you always have behavior health to go speak to to vent to to just explain, express how you're feeling. Because everybody in the military, I feel like, has a story, has something that they're going through, has something that they on that they have on their mind, but they don't not everybody speaks up on it. And that's what we have to do more of. We have to be more vocal about how we feel. We have to be more vocal on what's bothering us, why our chain of command is making us feel little instead of big, you know what I'm saying? We have to be more vocal on the things that that's going on with us. So do not be afraid to speak out. Yes, sometimes things do not get done, but if you if it gets canceled, if it gets canceled out and they don't take what you're saying seriously, do not give up, do not stop the fight. The fight must continue.